Well, hello, everybody, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, do a video on a feature uh, in the program Pix Insight. Uh, I found it to be very helpful. Uh, as any of you know, if you're dealing with uh, separate channels, you're going to, and you're, say, uh, using HA03 or uh, S, uh, S2, it's pretty obvious that certain signals are going to be stronger or weaker than others. Obviously, uh, if you're shooting an emission nebula, uh, HA is going to be the dominant and the, uh, the brighter uh, uh, channel out of the three or four, however many you're using. Uh, generally, uh, O3 is going to be pretty weak as well as S2. Now, this particular uh, function in Pix Insight will actually balance out the luminosity or the brightness of all three channels, so everything is pretty even across the board. And uh, I'd like to get into that right now and show you the uh, this particular technique. It's something I picked up from watching uh, uh, Visible Dark on, uh, on, on YouTube, and uh, it's been very helpful. So let's get into Pix Insight now and, uh, and see exactly what we've got going here. All right, now we're in uh, Pix Insight. And let me open up the three files. All right. Okay, I have an HA channel. I have an O3. And I have a luminance channel. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, give these a stretch. So let's bring up the screen transfer function and give a stretch to the HA, a stretch to the O3, and a stretch to the luminance channel. All right, now first of all, let me explain to you how I got these particular channels. Now I do all of my, uh, my image stacking in Astral Pixel Processor, or 99% of it, I should say. And uh, I used a feature there where I extracted the HA and extracted the O3 from the original one-shot color camera uh, file. Now, uh, since there is no uh, S3, what I did was I, S2 rather, I created a luminance channel uh, within that same program. And that's what you're seeing uh, in the, on the right side. This is the luminance channel, HA, O3, and luminance. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to balance out the luminosity of all three of these images. Now, just looking at this, you can obviously see that the HA is the brightest of all of them because it's rich in hydrogen alpha. So that's the dominant uh, channel here. And you can look here and you can see that the O3 is actually the weakest. So the goal is to bring these two up to the luminosity of HA. Now, you would, and it's very simple you would go about doing that by going over to Linear Fit. Now, of course, I have this saved already, but uh, if you have PixInsight, you would simply go to Processes, All Processes, and then come here to Linear Fit. All right. Now, the first thing you need to do is to create a reference image. The reference image is the uh, the luminosity that you want everything else to match. And that would be the HA in this case. So I would come here and select the HA as my luminance channel. All right. Now from this point, the only thing that you would need to do is take the triangle and then drag it over to each of these and let PixInsight do its thing. So what I'll do is I'll drag this over to the O3. Uh, this will only take a second. All right. Need to reset the screen transfer function and then give it another stretch. And I don't know if you can see that. You can see that it's increased the luminosity of, uh, of this particular channel. And you would do the same thing here with the luminance channel that was created. All 
right? Reset the screen transfer function and then give it another stretch. And if you look at these, you can see that it's balanced out, the luminosity, across all three channels. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, now the only uh, remaining step right now would be to uh, combine all three of these channels together. And anyone that's familiar with PixInsight knows you go to LRGB combination. All right. Now we have a luminance channel, but... Uh, that I'm not going to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the HA to the red. And it's already there by default. Click OK. The green channel I will assign to the O3. And the blue channel, of course, will go to the O3. All right. Now the other thing that's left to do right now is to click the circle and let PixInsight combine all three images. All right. And now we'll give this a stretch. And there we have it. And if you look at this image, you can see that everything is pretty balanced all across the board. Now there's a little light pollution here uh, because of the area that uh, that I shot this image in, but uh, you can look at everything is pretty well balanced all across the board on this image, thanks to these, thanks to this particular uh, technique. And uh, at this point, uh, all you would do is go ahead and process the image the way that you normally would. Uh, this gives you a pretty good foundation to start with. Uh, at this point, I would go ahead and uh, and do a dynamic uh, background extraction on this, uh, give it the color calibration and uh, some noise reduction. And then uh, later on I would do a, uh, I would use StarNet to do a star removal. And uh, go ahead processing the image and, uh, and fine tuning it. But uh, as I said, this gives you a very good foundation to start with and uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you haven't tried it, please give it a try and see what you come up with. All right, well, as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, and clear skies.